Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. In the bullpen today, we have Corinne Clark, co-founder of freepressfail.com. We're gonna talk about the January 6th insurrection and maybe get into COVID-19, vaccination, mask, etc. Ms. Clark, thank you for being on the show. Welcome to Indisputable. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, I don't want to presume what you believe or know or think about the insurrection on January 6th. So give us some of your thoughts as it relates to what happened on that day at the US Capitol. Um, I think the most disappointing thing about January 6th is what a distraction it has been to the political conversation lately. Um, I won't condone any activity. I wasn't invited to that insurrection. so. Can't say anything about it myself. <laughs> if it was a the big party they keep claiming it was, um, I'm surprised I didn't hear about it because it wasn't very well planned. Um, but now we can't talk about anything else, it seems. Well, Ms. Clark, my producers told you that you would be talking about the January 6th insurrection. So you're gonna talk about it on my show uh, because that was our agreement. So once again, I will post the question to you. Uh, what are your thoughts about the January 6th insurrection against the United States Capitol. I don't really think it was an insurrection. What do you think it was? Uh, I think it was a rowdy crowd of unorganized people um, making a big scene. And it's unfortunate that they did that because I do think it is very distracting from a lot of conversations that would have happened on that day had it not taken place. So I agree with you, I don't think it was an insurrection. Um, I think it was a terrorist attack. Do you disagree with me on that notion? Uh, yes. What's your definition of terrorism? I would say um, any event meant to cause complete terror. If you are in terror of a 65 year old woman carrying an, an American flag inside the Capitol, um, then you have a very loose definition of terror, I guess. It's not really about defining ter terrorism, but really about defining terror. Ma'am, what you just said. That. Ms. Clark, in all due respect, what you just said is a complete lie. Complete lie. Um, the definition of terrorism is a lie? Not only your definition of terrorism, but your summary of what happened. A 65 year old woman walking into the US Capitol with a flag is not what happened on January 6th. Let me first correct you on the definition of terrorism. The definition of ter terrorism, this is the statutory definition, says a person who uses unlawful violence or intimidation especially against civilians in pursuit of political aims. That is what the definition of terrorism is. Another working definition of terrorism is unlawfully using violence and intimidation in pursuit of a political goal. How is it that the acts of criminality, we're talking about trespass, we're talking about physical assault, we're talking about actual terroristic threats, to result or conclude in overturning an election result, which is a political goal, how can you say that the act of terrorism does not apply to what they did on January 6th, based on the definition of terrorism. They weren't seeking a political goal. As I said, I do believe they were the an unorganized mob that got a little out of hand. They had no political goal. That's not true. They said they had a political goal. They shouted their political goal during that insurrection, during that terrorist attack. And the 615 plus individuals who have been arrested said that their political goal was to stop the certification process of the electoral college. There was no way that a, that they were going to stop the vote. I don't think anyone intended to do that. Agenda, but since you mentioned the people that were arrested, does you should not really mean, talk about the conditions that those a difference prisoners between are being kept in. Agenda because if you think they were, you, you think that you these people committed accomplish. terrorism, you think that these people committed terrorism, why haven't the police charged them with such a crime? Because they're sitting in prison and they have not been charged with insurrection and they have not been charged with terrorism. So it's not let me, me let saying me answer it's that not question. terrorism, it's the United States government, it's the DC police. These people have not been charged with terrorism. Okay, let so me ask that, you a question. Is that my fault because my definition of terrorism is wrong? Or do you think now that the DC police don't know what terrorism is? Let me ask you a question and I'm glad you posted. it. Um, I'm a free thinking independent individual. I'm able to call balls, balls and strikes, strikes. The reality is, if those same individuals would have had the last name Muhammad that rushed that capital and did all of that criminality, you will call this terrorism. If they would have been black, 
all of those individuals rushed that Capitol, if they would have been members of Black Lives Matter, you right now on my show will call that terrorism. The reason why you don't call it terrorism is the same damn reason why the authorities have not charged them with terrorism. It is because their white skin gives them a benefit of the doubt that if they were of a different complexion or if they had a background as being Muslim, they would not have received that benefit of the doubt. You know and I know. What I just said is 100% true. You know that you can define me as racist and also the DC police are racist and the definition of terrorism is somehow racist. Ma'am, the definition of terrorism is The definition of terrorism right is what it is. It is not what it is, you are assuming a lot. You don't know me at all. Okay, let me ask you this question, Ms. Clark. Let me ask you this question. No, let me ask you, do you think the DC police are racist? Let me ask you this question, Ms. Clark. All of the police in DC are racist? The institutions the are DC based. Police are Ma'am, I'm going to answer the your black question. The men that serve on the I'll DC you police, they are, they are racist. The institutions that we're talking about have institutional racism and systemic racism codified inside of them. But let me ask you this question very clearly. The clear. definition of racism me, can only be ma'am? now um, dependent on skin color. You didn't read that in your first definition. Ma'am, let me Let me pose this question to you because I don't want to get sidetracked on the conversation. Do you believe that if the individuals who rushed the Capitol commit, committed acts of crime, if they would have been Muslim, would you then call them terrorist? Or would you just say they were in fact simply a rowdy group? If the exact same circumstances occurred on January 6th, regardless of color, I would not say that that was terrorism. Why? Because it wasn't. They were an unorganized crowd, they had no goals, they had no organization. That's contrary to the facts. Um, the facts do uh, dictate that they di- did have a goal to stop the certification of the Electoral College. Um, even so then uh, would you Mike say Pence. it was a failed terrorist attack? Because they certainly didn't do They're that. Really failed terrorist attack, ma'am. As a matter of fact, most terrorist, uh, terrorist attacks are failed attacks. Um, oh, well, the usually when we refer to something as a terrorist attack, we do consider it something that but accomplished. Ma'am, you do goal. understand that. A failed terrorist attack is a failed terrorist attack, and we refer to it so as So you agree generally. it's a failed terrorist attack, correct? If it, if you think by your definition, you think it's a failed terrorist attack. I do not think it was a terrorist attack. So you at think all. the goal, uh, the goal um, of overthrowing the election, since that was not met, it is not a terrorist attack, or do you think they think failed their in their goal. act of terrorism? That wasn't their goal. That's what you well, said. What was their goal? They had no goal. I said that they were in un- none of them had a goal whatsoever. Even though they said they had a goal, even though people who have been arrested said this was our goal, you're telling me that they're lying. Uh, and. They clearly had not a good enough goal to be arrested for the crime that you say they committed. <laughs> you know, it's quite interesting uh, that you give them a complete pass. Um, yeah, they're sitting in jail, not being charged with a crime. I think that somebody needs to answer for that. How can when you, you say sit in they're sitting in jail, not being with okay? A crime? Wait a minute. Uh, you said something new here. They're sitting in jail, not being charged with a crime. Explain that to me. What is there to explain? There are people who were arrested on January 6th who have not been charged with insurrection. They have not been charged with terrorism and they have not. But they have been charged with crimes, madam. You just said they are sitting in jail and have not been charged with a crime. That was your exact quote. Which That's crimes untrue. have they been charged with? Can Ma'am, you tell me? Been I've, with I've been looking, I can't find it. Well, let me read them to you. Give me a second. They've been charged with, uh, some have been charged with um, criminal trespass, terroristic threats, uh, u- utilizing a dangerous weapon, assault on federal police officers. That's just to name a few. You didn't know this? The families of the people who have been arrested have not been informed of those charges. Neither have their lawyer. Damn. These individuals have been charged with these crimes. That's this Maybe is a you simple should, you Google should call search. them. You should let you them can, know because their lawyers are trying to figure well, that Ms. out. Clark, you can tell them to Google it just like I did, madam. It's right in front of you. You can go to FBI.gov and read the docket. What are you talking about? You could, yeah, well, I'll let them know that you have it all figured out. Google's got it for you because the DC police do no, not. The FBI, FBI.gov, they have it on their site. The FBI charged them with crimes that their lawyers have not been made aware of. That seems like a miscarriage of justice. Ma'am, do you know how many people have been charged? Do you know how many people have been arrested in connection to the terrorist attack? Are you Are you aware? I know there are at least six in prison and they have not been charged with terrorism or insurrection. Ma'am, this is a simple question. How many people have been arrested in connection to the terrorist attack on the insurrection of the US Capitol? I gave you an answer. There are at least six people in jail who have not been charged for insurrection or terrorism. Yeah. So there are over 600 people that have been charged. 
When you look at the charges that they have received, there are over 1800 actual charges um, uh, as an aggregate total of those 600 plus individuals who have been arrested. So charges have been allocated to them. My only oh, beef but, is oh, I don't think they were charged with terrorism. Have been to them. And they, many they of them have already. Terrorism and insurrection. Many of them have already pleaded guilty to these charges. That's why they have pro probated sentences and they've been um, mandated to pay a fine. You realize you cannot be mandated to pay a fine until your case has been adjudicated. You, you understand that, right? Anyone who's paid a ticket could argue that you've paid a, you've paid a fine before that for a crime to make it go away. These people were not charged with terrorism. They were not charged with insurrection and you call them terrorists and insurrectionists. you damn right so I call them think, terrorists. You think they because committed terrorism and the DC police said pay a fine as if you have an expired parking That's ticket? what the federal government did, madam. And they are completely 100% wrong for how they have treated these members of a terrorist group. Yeah, that went out of January 6th and, they, and they committed said, acts of terrorism by it? statutory definition. Yep, they, they had them handle it just like we handle parking tickets because it was so serious of a crime. So do you admit that crimes did take place um, on the US Capitol grounds? Oh, I'm sure crimes take place on the US Capitol grounds every single day. I'm sure there's a crime taking place on the Capitol right? grounds right now. Do you think they committed any crimes or not? I wasn't there. If they were com if they committed a crime, I'm sure they were charged for it. But what I am confident in is that they were not charged with terrorism or insurrection <laughs> as you keep saying that they are guilty of. Are you for the police? Of course. What about the videos that we see of Capitol Police being assaulted by these same individuals that you're defending? What are your thoughts about that? I'm not defending anybody's anybody's actions. I just am saying that it wasn't terrorism. Okay, Let, let's move beyond that point. We're gonna agree to disagree on that point. The cops who are on video being assaulted by some of these insurrectionists, what are your thoughts about them assaulting the police? I don't support the assault of any individual. Okay, uh, you do admit that what they did to those police officers are that is in fact a criminal action, correct? I would have to review the footage that you're talking about specifically, but if anyone was assaulted, that is a crime. You have not seen any video. You've seen no video of any Capitol Police officer being assaulted. I have not personally, no. Okay, you need to do your homework, madam, if you're gonna come debate me on these issues. <laughs> Is that fair? Oh, I did do my homework, um, but but now we're changing the definition of terrorism. So no, we're not, madam. It's really I'm hard. Read the I have more homework again. now because we're really. I, I'm going to read the definition words. again. Your definition is the definition that's incorrect. I am Your going to read the definition was, again was for the sake of the audience who cares about the truth. I'm yeah. going to read it again. Okay, here's the definition of terrorism: a person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation in the pursuit of political aims. Unlawfully using violence and intimidation in the pursuit of a political goal. That's your definition, statutory definition of terrorism. Your definition, you just made it up. All right, let me ask you no, about. I did, I did not disagree on the definition of terrorism. I disagreed with your assumption of what the goal of that crowd was. That's not my assumption. That's what many of them said that their goal was. No, was uh, goal. well, like, the federal again, government and the DC police do not agree that that was well, their madam, goal. You're lying again. Uh, many I'm of them have been have charged, been charged and arrested, and some of them. It is not a lie. They have not been charged. You cannot lie about a fact, ma'am. They have not been charged with terrorism or insurrection. That is the the position of the federal and government and of the DC police. But madam, here's the lie that you're telling. When you continue to say that they had no political goal whatsoever, that is a lie. We can debate opinion here, but facts. My goodness, it is known as a fact. That they have gone on record, many of them in their plea deals have said that their aim was to stop the certification. Their plea of the deals for crimes that process. were not insurrection or terrorism. Okay, we're gonna move on, madam. Um, That's probably the best idea considering that you cannot handle the fact that none of these people were charged with insurrection or terrorism. Yet well, I can you handle it. I simply them insurrectionists and terrorists. But you can't handle so it. Is, it is probably best that to move the on. The definition that of terrorism go. fits hand in glove with what they did. Oh, really? But no one agrees with you because that is not what they are charged with. That's another lie. 52% of Americans believe that what happened at the US Capitol was an act of terror. 100% of our court systems agree that it was not insurrection or terrorism. Okay, madam, as I said before, I disagree with the federal government and how they have charged all of these individuals. We will agree to disagree on that point. Let me move on to our second point because we're almost out of time.
Um, you are an anti, are you an anti-vaxxer, anti-masker individual? I am not anti anything, whatever you want to do. You want to vaccinate, do it. You want to mask, do it. I'm not doing either. Do you believe state governments have the constitutional authority to mandate masks? No. Tell me where does it prohibit it in the US Constitution? Where does it grant the authority to do it? I, I can read it to you, ready for it? I would like to hear it. Uh, the 10th Amendment of the US Constitution says the power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by law or Constitution of the United States, are reserved to the states respectfully or to the people. It emphasizes the right to utilize what's called the fundamental character of the national government in a state allocation of that mandate, i.e. healthcare grievances or a healthcare crisis. That's the 10th Amendment of your US Constitution. That's a very open interpretation. I would be so happy to hear how people think that would not be abused in the future. So we can mandate masks because the 10th Amendment says that states can mandate whatever they want that the federal government hasn't mandated. Okay, well, we should mandate every kind of medication. We should mandate workouts. We should mandate a vitamin regimen. Okay. You're saying that they have the ultimate question. authority to do all of that. I don't think that that was the intention of the 10th Amendment. Okay, let me ask you this question. Do you wear a seatbelt? Yes. Why? Because I want to keep myself safe. Mm, you want to keep yourself safe. You know, you're mandated by law to wear a seatbelt in virtually yeah, and every that state is not why. United States. Do you agree you with that law? Do something. You can do something because you want to, not because someone tells you well, to. Well, let me just ask I you for a seat belt based to keep on myself principle. safe because I want to keep myself safe. I do not okay. wear a seatbelt because I fear the government telling me that I should do it. Do you disagree with the government having the authority to mandate seatbelt laws? I do not think the seatbelt law is necessary either. So you disagree with the government having the authority statutorily to make a law for you to wear a seatbelt, correct? Seatbelt laws in this country have been passed in various different ways. Sometimes they are a people's referendum. In that case, I'm like, okay, that went to the people. These these are not actually laws. Mass mandates have not been laws. They are regulations and they are executive directives. And that's a much more nuanced argument than I think we're willing to have at this time. Let me ask you seat this question, because you, you not, continue to skip around and necessary. I don't have I don't have unlimited time. Do you think it's do you think it should be illegal for a school system to mandate masks for children and faculty and administration? I think that the school board should consider their parents and students in those decision making processes. And I think that the parents and students have spoken widely against mask mandates. So it's not a okay. point of whether or not it's legal or illegal, but these boards are supposed to serve their students and serve the parents of those students. And I don't think that they are doing that. So let me ask you again in a different way. Do you believe that it is their legal right or legal authority to mandate masks in these school systems? Let's start there first. Do you think it is legal for them to mandate it? I think it is their legal obligation to represent their students and the parents of those students. Ma'am, this is a simple question. Do you believe it is legal for a board, a it's school actually board not, in particular? It's not a simple question at all because these a school board is not a legislator. They are supposed to serve the students and serve the parents of those students. That is what their legal obligation is to do. They are not Congress, they are not the state legislature. They are supposed to serve those students. So I don't think it's about whether or not they should be man mandating masks as much as they should be communicating with their students and their parents to make sure that those schools are representing their needs of those kids. You're not gonna answer my questions, but I do appreciate your time. Thank you for being on Indisputable, thank you. Thanks.